Governance and anti-corruption has been part of the bank's development efforts for over three decades. Uh, the bank uh, variously at different times has viewed GAC or governance and anti-corruption as central to its poverty reduction mandate. And over the years it has had various strategies that have contribute to it, contributed to its efforts in countries, uh, both middle income and lower income countries. In 2007 the bank launched an unprecedented strategy that is aimed to cover all sectors, countries across the board, as well as projects. And it also encapsulates international or global efforts to fight corruption uh, in partnership with various stakeholders, governments, and the private sector. Given the ambition and the unprecedented scope and nature of the strategy, the World Bank Board of Directors asked IEG to evaluate its effort, the success of these efforts or the lessons learned from these efforts over the past three years. This was intended to inform future uh, bank strategies around governance and most particularly GAC Phase 2, or the Phase 2 of the Governance and Anti-Corruption Strategy, which is being prepared as we speak. So our evaluation, which ultimately aims to improve the bank's ability to support countries uh, in making states more accountable and, and effective in supporting poverty reduction, that's our objective. But we're pursuing it in three ways. One is to evaluate the relevance of the bank's work. Is the bank doing the right things when it comes to governance and anti-corruption? Two, evaluate the effectiveness of its efforts. Is it making an impact on the quality of bank operations and dialogue in countries? And third, evaluating its impact on the ground. Uh, is the bank improving the ground realities in countries or contributing to improving the ground realities in countries uh, when it comes to governance? As we've gone through this process, we've realized that GAC means many things to many people. Everyone has a perspective on this. And so what we've done is we've tried to get the views of different actors in the bank's operations. Bank staff, clients in borrowing governments and in countries, partner countries, including civil society, the media, community groups, um, intellectuals, and academics. And we've also sought to get the views of CSOs and other individuals who are involved in the larger development discourse around what the bank should do in this area. So we welcome people's feedback, particularly through this web-based platform that we've set up, because we think it's very important to inform our final evaluation findings. And they will amplify what we've heard from other stakeholders outside of government, particularly civil society organizations and others, on the ground in our country visits. So we welcome their feedback and we hope to have our evaluation completed and public over the summer of 2011. Thank you.